earlier this week I stubbed my toe very, very badly. I tripped over a wire and then jammed it onto the floor. And I was in a lot of pain. And I actually was concerned that uh, maybe it was broken for a little while. And then I realized it wasn't, wasn't hurting quite that badly. So I didn't have a, a broken bone. But probably as, as painful as you can be before the bone breaks. So, since I was in a lot of pain, and I'm also training for a marathon, I figured I'd have to be laid up from running for a while. But I decided to try something that I have. It's a magnetic pulser, which is uh, good for for uh, speeding and assisting with wound healing. It puts a powerful magnetic pulse out of this wand. And here you can demonstrate with a bobby pin. And that will shoot that. It shoots it right off. If it didn't have this this plastic covering on it, and I put a washer right in the center of the coil, it would create an eddy current to shoot it right out. As it is, it, it shoots out several inches out from there. So I put that on my toe, and I also have these very powerful static magnets that I got for Qigong. They're one inch, one inch by seven inches by four inches, and they're several thousand gauss. They're very, very strong magnets. And I uh, got them off of eBay pretty cheaply and got these uh, pieces of foam from a craft store and used some, some packing tape. And so I've got these that I can stand on and just uh, get an energy boost from that. So what I decided to try with my injured toe was to use the magnetic pulser in conjunction with this. It's set up so that the uh, the negative north side is facing up and that's what we've got here. So now this little thing as it's pulsing, I don't want to get the camera too close because that magnetic pulse will um, could uh, disable electronic equipment. But if you listen closely, maybe you can hear it. It emits a little tiny click. It's very gentle. Now watch as I put this magnetic pulse up against the magnet. Look at that. I'm going negative pole to negative pole and it pops like that. If I go positive to negative then it clicks away but it really seems to magnify the power of that magnetic pulse. So what I did with my foot is I just put it in place. This uh, magnetic pulser is set to do I think uh, 210 or 220 pulses in a session before it automatically shuts off and then the uh, the wand gets very hot at that point and needs to cool down and the session will take roughly 15 minutes about so I was doing this in the morning and in the evening and uh, by the next day the pain was was substantially less I have a job where I I have to do over three miles of walking in a day over the course of eight hours. And I was a little bit concerned going to work because I was uh, a little sensitive, but it got through the last few days without any problem. The pain gradually got less and less. In fact, now there's not even any pain, just a little tenderness if I, if I squeeze the toe. And this morning I went out and ran uh, 10 miles. The toe didn't give me any problems at all, so really seemed to help to uh, speed the healing up of that injury. Obviously, if there, was, if there was a broken bone or some kind of a torn ligament or cartilage, it would be a lot more painful. It would be a, a much longer recovery time. But it seemed to work pretty well. I've not 
I've not encountered anyone using a pulser like this in conjunction with powerful static magnets, but perhaps uh, that's something that people can experiment with. I might try this on other body parts as well. I did, I did put this uh, on the two sides of my knee, and although it's not quite as as powerful a pulse because the the paddle isn't as close to the uh, to the magnet, if it were on both sides of my knee, it'd be like this. But even so, I can feel this paddle giving a, a louder thump than it would ordinarily. Here it's just perfectly still and a very, very mild feeling physical movement. And here it's very loud and very strong. So, another, another tool for healing wounds.